Hello and welcome to the Bermuda Triangle Face. I am Triangle Face and today I'm being joined by fellow Retro Game Revival panel member Nintendo Dolly. Hello, how are we doing? I'm doing very good, how are you? Excellent, I'm not too bad. Still getting over a cold that I think I've had for nearly six weeks now, but you know, oh it's, you know it could always be worse. Okay. And um, yeah, so it, we often uh, talk a lot about games, so we obviously talk a lot about games on our our channel uh, and have lots of discussions but it's gonna be nice to actually play some games um, and so we're actually getting a chance to play a few games today which should be fun so that's good so um i'll get on with the with the show really so like a triangle has three sides uh, ollie has chosen three games uh, so we're going to play those three games and uh, have a bit of chat about them and talk about um you know why ollie chose those games and what made them uh, important to him growing up or what sort of memories of the games he's had and I'm sure we'll get into nice conversations about gaming so without further ado Ollie what is your first game game number one so my game is Super Fighter 2 one of the many Street Fighter 2 uh sequels i guess there's many street fighter 2 games um this one in particular is is one of my favorites if not my favorite um it was the time when they introduced four new characters so we'd had street fighter 2 street fighter 2 turbo um obviously mega drive had the championship edition um but this one was the one where we had actual brand new characters that weren't just bosses that were being allocated you know so this was the introduction of uh t-hawk and it's been a little while since I've played it, so I could very, very rusty. Um, but yeah, I remember getting this on my Super Nintendo. Have it, just being totally addicted to it, like you are when you when you generally get a new Street Fighter game, and it's totally stood up against all the Fighter Two games. But this one, this one for me is the uh, the, the crowning glory Steam bit era, I think. Yeah, there was, like, I had um, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I think, um, on the Mega Drive. And, uh, like I said, there's lots of different versions of Street Fighter 2. Um, but uh, it, what, was the, the, what was it that made this one your particular favourite? Was it the new characters or um, just that it felt more like a new game than the others? I think it probably was a mixture of those two. Yeah, it felt like a new game. It was new stage and music. Um, yeah, there's... If honest, I think there was that little part of me that just saw Cammy and thought, "Holy hell, this is a this is a step up," and uh, and that was it for me. Just totally infatuated with Cammy growing up. I think <laughs> most people end up fancying Lara Croft. Oh, sorry, I think I lost you a bit there. Oh, my bad. bad. Oh, I don't know if that was me or you, but uh, having a bit of uh, uh, breaking up audio there but not to worry um but you know, i always wondered is it um does she have flesh colored tights or is she just wearing that um sort of onesie thing <laughs> is uh, it a tattoo? I, I, I don't know i think some things are best left un, unanswered i think i'll just leave you to I wonder would agree. leave you to wonder are I these flesh colored tights or not who knows um okay well the other, the other thing i was gonna mention about street fighter is the uh, i can remember seeing it um super street fighter that is in the arcade and just that intro we've got um ryu sort of just posturing at the start and it's got the flashing lighting and i just thought it was just a really cool um image to just at the start of the game i uh, just made it want to want to go it's and play really it. iconic isn't it yeah now? and i was always a big fan of uh fei long as well fei long was a really cool character I liked his uh the fire yeah. kick that he does um very cool very yeah. difficult to master i found hmm. at the time for him it was he was one of those characters where if you played someone that knew uh, the move set really well then yeah you were you stood no chance but difficult to master fei long. yeah did right shall we crack on with a bit of street fighter super street fighter 2 uh, right there we go and there's that uh intro i was talking about i remember just seeing that in the arcade and being like oh this looks cool it's so good it's so good and it looked this good on super nintendo for me as well mm. maybe that's another reason why i like the game so much it's that first time you see it in an arcade you take it home and you're like oh this looks pretty good i still remember when i first bought um street fighter 2 Turbo, I think, was the version I had, and um, yeah, just thinking, oh, I don't think this is ever gonna get old. This game, 
Uh, and it, and it didn't like I still play it now. Like there's lots of fighting games. Like I like newer versions of Street Fighter as well. But I think there's something about Street Fighter Two that is just timeless. You can always go yeah. back to Street Fighter Two. You can. You can. <clears throat> We talked about our go-tos. I'm gonna go I'm, with Sagat. If you're gonna be Sagat, then I'm gonna have to go Ryu. That long, long rivalry between the two. I'll keep all the uh, handicaps to the norm. I always found Sagat had a good um, striking, like the others did. Yeah, he's got, he's really got good range. yeah, but a slightly better reach. I was going to say, well, totally that, that fireball, is that you doing something different to get the red fireball? Is that like a glitch in the game? Because I, I don't no, know if I actually know. A, it's a full, it's... full half semicircle. Ah, just, like, I see. Down to <clears throat> I think, that, did they like add that in this game? Because in the previous game, people were trying to figure out how to do it. And it was actually a glitch. And they added it as an intended thing for this game. Yeah, I think so. Or it might be that I'm using high punch or hard punch as well. Trying to do too many special moves. That's my down. Oh, I, I'm exactly the same. Sometimes I'll try to do a move, and while trying to do the move, I actually end up like not. Ooh, it's gonna be a close one. Oh, oh man, creamed me. Very close on the health there. <laughs> Of course, they say that uh, that's the face now. Um, the scar on his chest was from Ryu in the first game, supposedly. It was yeah. yes, yes. There's a dragon punch or a shoryuken as they now put it in the manual. Right, let's right. see who else we got. Let's get Cami out on the go. Keep pushing random buttons and changing my colours. Hmm. Let's go. I was going to do E Honda. I feel E Honda's a bit cheap with his hundred hand slap. It can be. Mm. It can be. That jumping move by Bison just jumps like straight up in the air. Oh man, you absolutely just oh. destroyed me there. Perfect. Oh, we talked about controllers when we started. What um what controller are you playing on? So you're using a a wired I'm using, Evercade. I'm using a wired Evercade VS uh, controller, which uh, seems to be working okay. Of course, I could always just blame the controller and. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing so well this time. I'm struggling to get the uh, thing to act. Oh, no. Oh, yes. There we go. Always weird when they got um, Kylie Minogue to play her in the Street Fighter movie. <laughs> that movie is... I, I, I always thought it was weird that um, they focused on, like, um, Guile as the main character in the film. I thought surely, like, Ryo and Ken would have been the, the go-to choices for, like, a, you know, popular lead... Yeah, you would have thought so. But yeah, they totally just skirted over Ryo and Ken. Although the animated films are very good. Oh, that animated movie, that first one, is absolutely incredible. Oh. Absolutely incredible. And not for the reason that people think I would say it's incredible. But it is genuinely a good, a good movie. Even the alpha ones were pretty good. Yeah, not too bad, actually. I always liked the Alpha games, actually. I think one of my favourite Street Fighter game is actually Street Fighter Alpha 3. I think the third okay. Street Fighter Alpha game. Don't know why, but that particular one just had a really good roster of characters. I uh, really like the super moves. Um, and yeah, it's a fun, really fun game. Give that another try. We may have some technical difficulties along the way, but I'm sure we'll be... Uh, we go, At right. least it looks like we're in different suits now. Before it was getting a little bit... Oh, flaming Hadoukens. Yeah, that's very nicely done. Ooh. Because he had the flaming uppercuts, wasn't he? 
I felt like as the games went on, the more different Ryo and Ken felt, whereas near the start, they felt like they were just different costumes, you know? Yes, very much so. Ooh. Oh, he got me. Only just, only just. Just yeah, quite like classic suit color there. Uh, any uh, character that does that fighting style, I've always liked. Even Dan, I even like playing as Dan. Um, even though he's kind of meant to be a bit of a joke character, he still has some pretty cool moves. And obviously got Akuma as well. Yeah, Akuma was like the best of all worlds, really, wasn't it? That being said, I also quite like Sakura as well. Yeah, well, she was from rival schools as well, wasn't she? That was quite a fun game. Oh, I went for the wrong bit. No! This is going to be very close. Oh, it's going to be very close. Oh! Dude. To the wire. Almost a comeback. Almost. Right, there we go. That was Street Super Street Fighter 2. An excellent pick. And a, and a great game. Oh, no. I thought that was it. It's the third round. <laughs> I started wrapping up. Oh, here we go. Right. Let's see how we get on. I, I was too eager then. I thought we were wrapping up that segment. <laughs> Can't, can't let it go without the decider. Oh no. Oh, I kept thinking as soon as you go high, I go low. It's just that. Oh, I think you might have it. Yeah. No, oh, that wasn't even close. One win out of three. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, you've regained some match there. I don't know what happened with the, uh, the Bison match there. That was a, a bit of a fluke more than anything, I think. <laughs> but no, it's a very good close round. Thanks very much for picking that game. It was a good, good start. And uh, yeah, let's, let's move on to game number two. Game number two. And so, Ollie, what has, is your second game you're bringing to the Bermuda Triangle face? So my second pick is Streets of Rage 2. Um... A game that I played a huge amount as a kid, but on my friend's Mega Drive, because I was a, a Nintendo kid growing up. Um, so I think I've said on streams before, I never really got a, a Mega Drive until I started having a paycheck and could go back and buy all the things that I sort of wanted as a kid. Um, but Streets of Rage 2 for me was just this iconic game with an iconic soundtrack. Um, it did everything that the first game did that was faultless and just kind of elevated it just that little bit more there was something about the special moves and the fighting and the combat in streets of rage 2 that i just i just preferred over the first um the introduction of the character skate as well who i thought mm -hmm. was just like the coolest thing in the world um yeah i just i just love this game i think this one is is my favorite streets of rage um it's just it's just brilliant it's timeless yeah, actually i think, think uh out of all the streets i think two is definitely the best one um, I, I have been um, slammed for saying this before, but I'm, I don't like three. Um, I know some people really like three, but for me, I, I didn't really get into three. I think two's so good, and I feel like three is a step back. Um, so I might, I might get some hate for saying that because I know some people really like <laughs> Streets of Rage three. But for me, I, I loved one because um, I had one on uh, Mega Games two cartridge on the Mega Drive, and it yep. was the um, <clears throat> I think that cartridge had Revenge of Shinobi, Golden Axe, and Streets of Rage. And that was one of the first cartridges had. I think it actually came with the Mega Drive we got. Um, so I played that quite a lot. Um, I played Streets of Rage 2 less, but no, I agree. It is one of the best beat em up games I think you can get. I think it's one, yeah. it definitely sets a standard. And um, yeah, like I think a lot of. Um, there's a lot of games of that ilk. Like I've got an arcade cabinet where there's lots of scrolling beat em ups. Mm -hmm. um, and they all have something slightly. They have to have a slight edge because there's so many of them are very much the very samey. Um, and you have to just have mm -hmm. that slight edge over it. I think Streets of Rage 2. It's just got very good and clever um, patterns, like the enemies and the bosses, and it breaks it up very nicely for something that is a fairly repetitive game. It doesn't feel repetitive when you're playing it because you feel like you're always moving forward. Um, totally yes, agreed. excellent, excellent choice. Right, without further ado then, let's play some Streets of Rage 2. Oh, it's just that intro music. Oh. Of course, that shot. For... It took me ages to beat Streets of Rage 1 as well. I think I had it when I was quite young, and I think I found it quite difficult at the time. Yeah, um, It took a really long time to complete. It, it is a difficult game. It really is. And is it Streets of Rage, the first one, where you can get the secret ending where... Mm -hmm. um, oh, I can't think of the character's name now off the top of my head. But he becomes the new the new boss. Yeah. 
Well, there's different ways you could do it. Because I think at the end, you can either both agree to join him, or you can both agree to fight him. Or one of you agrees to join, and one of you agrees to fight. And if you choose the opposite way around, it turns into a battle at the end, and you have to fight against each other. Um, that was, I think in one, that's the only way you could fight against each other, was getting to the last level and then choosing those options. Whereas I think in yeah. two, they actually brought in a battle option, didn't they? Where you could actually fight each other in a battle. It was Adam, wasn't it? I just saw yeah. the name appear then. This this music, man, this for me is is the epitome of like nineties cool. I just see some I don't know who it was, someone posted something perhaps in the RGR Facebook group, um, that the Streets of Rage game should have on the front cover on the box. Don't press A when you start, it calls the police. <laughs> so you don't immediately start and hit that A button. That uh, would be a good a good thing, I think. Alright, let's see how we go. Right. Uh, do you have a preference? I'll let you have first dibs on who you want to be. Oh. I'm gonna go with Skate. Excellent. I'll go with my favorite. Then my favorite was always Axel, so I'll stick with my fave. Skate. It's gotta be. Right. Let's see, go on. Oh yeah, I forgot you had like the extra little moves as well. Do it depletes your health though. And uh, that one doesn't. If you watch my look at my health, do that. I can do that without damaging my health. There is one that I can't do. Oh, the corkscrew for me. Yeah, I think there's one where I can like spin around and do like a fiery punch, Ooh, which does take off some health. So this sort of is a bit of a weird penalty to like damage yourself to, in order to do the move. Exactly. Yeah. It's like no one in real life would actually ever do that. <laughs> it's gonna really hurt me if I do this. Well, I want to do it then. Although I might have to do a corkscrew just to uh, just to demonstrate. <laughs> oh yes. Come here. Oh. Getting thrown around now. I always thought the names of the enemies in this game were also really bizarre. Like, <laughs> why signal? Yeah, what's that about? I can remember thinking it was funny in... Uh, I was thinking about that when I was playing um, Fighting Force. That was quite a fun little game, actually, Fighting Force. If you ever played that. Uh, really like a very similar game to Streets of Rage. Uh, there was a second Fighting Force, actually. I've only ever played the first one. But uh, that, there, that had, like, the... Um, all the people you fight in that are like that team in dodgeball, like Laser, Blazer, and Grazer, and things like that. Amazing. Michelle. Yeah, I remember in Streets of Rage 1, he does like the flying knee strike, didn't he? Rather than, no, he does like a full kick. I think the knee strike looked better. Let's see if I can. There you go. Lob him over my shoulder. Love doing that move as well, where you just jump on the back of someone. Let's get myself an apple off the ground. Joseph. Alright, let's have a go at this corkscrew. Let's get someone over here. Alright, let me move out your way. Let me pick up this knife. Got to just make sure someone actually comes in front Ooh. of me. Oh, cheeky swine. Oh, sorry. That's alright. <laughs> Got in the way there. Corkscrewing into the background. So does that take some damage? Yeah, you do take some damage yeah, for that. Yeah, it does, yeah. It depletes your health. One of the big pipes. I always remember, the, always remember fighting over the pipes with my mates. If you were playing Streets of Rage, there's always an argument over who got the baseball bat and who got the pipes, you know. I'm happy with either. I had one, one friend who used to play games like this with, and he was dreadful for it. Like, if you were playing with your mates, normally there'd be a bit of conversation, like, oh, you've got more life than me. You know, you pick up... I'll pick up, let, let me pick up the uh, the extra health and things like that, and you'd always share it out properly. Um, but I had a friend of mine who just picks up, he'd be like practically full health, and I'd be nearly dying, and there'd be a chicken on the floor, and he'd eat the chicken. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> it's always the way. Everybody always had one friend that would do that. I know I he's not saying it, but it sounds like he's saying reservoir. I've always um, thought that it sounds like he's saying get a jumper. Or wear a jumper. Was it? Was it? Uh, Blaze used to say. I uh, thought she was saying Sky Tours. <laughs> he knows. Oh, I've dropped my dropped my pole doing that. Let's pick it back up. Yeah, I mean the the, we the weapons are great in this, aren't they? Like the poles and the bats and the knives and stuff. Like it just adds that level. I, I do feel like it, the one thing it's missing is like being able to get on top of things. Like in Golden Axe, you'd get on the dragons and stuff. Now, I'm not sure yeah. what would quite work with Streets of Rage. Um, like maybe you could get like if you got a motorbike, I think it would be a bit too fast moving around. But 
I don't know, some sort of vehicle would have been cool. Or at least a level where you got to rock, go in a vehicle or something. Let's get this guy. Let's see if I can get on Jack's back. Yeah! Nope, just for a minute. No, just pick up this pole. Oh, okay. oh, chicken. Do you want the chicken? Because you're a bit lower life. Sweet. I'm very generous of you. Actually, that's probably going to be a chicken there, so I might as well. How do I do my uh, super special thing? Oh, I don't have time to pick up the chicken. How rude. It's, it's taking the chicken away from you. I mean, I'm assuming there's a floor chicken in there. I'll grab the apple, though. I'll grab yeah, the floor grab the apple. apple. Try to remember so how I do this, my every, super move. Every level on this game there it is. Stunning music. Oh, the Mega Drive has some great music. I think, you know, it, whenever people talk about music on the Mega Drive, a lot of people go straight to, like, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, I think, has that excellent soundtrack. But there's a lot of others really as well. Did have a good one. Yeah, I think it's um, been confirmed now, isn't it, that it was Michael Jackson did the music for Sonic 3, I believe. It was a... Uh, really? Yeah, I think I thought it at first, I thought it was just a rumour, but I think somebody actually did prove that it was him. I think it's like he didn't like how it sounded. Because um, it was only on like the, what the Mega Drive was capable of, he thought it was, that he didn't really like the sort of chip tune stuff it was, and um, didn't want to be credited. So the fact that he did it was never made public knowledge until after he died. But uh, Michael Jackson actually did the music for Sonic Three. That's incredible. Mm. I always heard it as a rumor, but never knew if it had been confirmed or. Pretty sure it's true. I've I've seen a lot of few people cover it. I mean. I'll be honest, I've just seen other people talk about it and saying that it's true. And I'm just, they said it with enough conviction that I believe them. <laughs> I've never actually like done my own research on the subject, but it sounds true. Let's let this guy get out a bit more. What is uh, Skate's relationship to Adam in this? Am I right thinking, like, is he his son or is he his nephew or something? I think he's a nephew. I'm sure someone in the comments will now be telling me how wrong I am. <laughs> Pretty sure he's a nephew. I don't think he's Adam's son. Depends on the version of these things. Sometimes things get mistranslated, don't they? There, get on the screen a bit more so I can do more damage. Oof. There we go. Oh, she's got another bar. Got another health bar. I just love all those noises. It sounds like an 80s kung fu movie. <laughs> oh. Oh, my bad. That's right. I'll give you a boot. All right, I think I said that. Oh, we're moving on. Where to? Oh, outside now. It's a rain. Look at that oh, yes. rain. Excellent. It's be a boss. There's definitely a chicken there. Ooh. Oh, that boss music. Ooh. Oh. That didn't go very well. I can remember in the first one, um, they used to have, um, if you were having two people playing, you would have two versions of the boss, wouldn't you? You would, yeah. Make it. That little bit more difficult. Not that the game was particularly right, easy. Eat to my start chicken. With. I presume there's another chicken in that bin. If you want to, oh, they've just been taking a life. The same might be the time to eat that bin chicken. Bin chicken. I'm sure in any other situation, not good advice to eat chicken from a bin, but uh, in this, apparently is. Oh, what a waste! Right. Wasted it twice. I'm gonna try and do my special. Ah, I missed him. Let's see if I can throw you at him. Oh, you can throw me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, Let's see if I can actually pull it off. Hang on. I think I can do this. Oh no, he just lobs you. I thought, oh, maybe that's the oh, maybe, one. Maybe I've got to push a button up. Yeah, and no, I'm pretty sure if you throw someone in one, they like do a little spinny attack. But there you go, that's the boss down. Yeah. Great stuff. And that's how you do Streets of Rage too. Absolutely solid game. Still plays brilliant. Right, shall we move on to game number three? Let's move on. Let's do Let's it. On. Let's do game number three. Here we go. Game number three. Okay, so here we are with the third game of the evening. And what is the third game you've chosen to play today? 
So the third game I have gone for is uh, Super Mario Kart, the original on the Super Nintendo. Um, I was trying to think of multiplayer games and trying to sort of give them a bit of variety. And you gave me the inspiration when you were like, think maybe a racing game so that we didn't go down the route of having too many beat em ups or too many fighting games. And you thought, yeah, do you know what? Mario Kart, this is where it all began. This started a franchise that is now just absolutely iconic. And I don't know anyone that hasn't played at least one of the Super Mario Kart games. I always wondered if Nintendo ever thought when they made this game, is it going to turn into the powerhouse that it has sort of become yeah, now? Yeah, absolutely. It's weird to think that now, actually. Thinking back to when they did this one, like, was this just like, oh, let's just do a racing game with Mario and, and see how we get on? And, and you look at it now, it's just it's still going strong today. Um, it is. I, so I haven't got, yeah, I've only, I was a bit late to the party on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because I ha- had Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Yeah. Um, so I was like, I've already got Mario Kart 8. And it wasn't, I was talking to you and Blunders, I think, after we'd just finished a live stream. Um, or we might have actually been on a live stream, actually. And I didn't realise that the, the thing I didn't like about Mario Kart 8 is you can't, uh, when you hold a weapon behind you, you can't then pick up another weapon and have it ready. Mm-hmm. So you become a vulnerable sooner when you're in the front. And I just found it a bit frustrating because, you know, you get your mushroom, your, your um, banana skin or your shell ever destroyed, and then you just get hit and overtaken. It's made it quite difficult. Um, but that isn't the case in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I was like, that actually, it sounds like a small thing, but completely changes the game for me. Um, it's, it does, it's much, yeah. much better, I think. Um, so, yeah, so I've got Mario Kart Deluxe and I'm working through it and I haven't got the DLC yet. So I think I'll, once I've kind of mastered everything on there, I'll, I'll grab the DLC. Um, it's got to be done. It's yeah. got to be done. But the it? original, this is, there's something about this one that is just beyond charming. The graphics, the music, everything. It's, yeah, it's, it's like, been a long time since I played this one. So I'm wondering how I'm going to fare because I've been playing Mario Kart 8. Uh, and I did spend a lot of time Mario Kart Wii, was one that I really enjoyed. Um, and Mario Kart 64 as well. But Mario, Super Mario Kart, the first one on the stairs, is not one I've actually played a lot. But we'll see if playing all the other ones will work in my favour for this. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how we do. Cool, Let's should we get going. started? Okay. Yes. Ah, that music, okay. man. Again, another good one for music. All right. Two player game. Should we go 100cc? Oh, go on, yeah, let's, let's fire it up. I presume so. It goes up to 150 now, doesn't it? Yeah. It does, yeah, and that is pretty quick. Are you actually in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I think it's got the uh, 200cc, and it says, you know, you, you need to have to, you actually have to break. It's going to be weird playing this without things break. like, yeah, we're playing this without things like drift as well. Right, which we do? Should we do a mushroom cup? The first one? Yeah, the mushroom yeah. cup. It's always that slightly, uh, slightly easier one, the mushroom okay. cup. God, look at it. I've got to make sure I've got the controls right. <laughs> I know. I've got to make sure right. that I'm... There we are. I'm moving forward, so that's a good start. Oh, oh they did. They actually oh, had man. the coins in this. They t- must have taken the coins out. Oh, God. Uh, and then re-added it as a feature. Because I don't remember there being coins in, like, 64 or... Um, um, or in the Wii. In no. The first time I remember having coins was in Mario Kart DS. I'm going off all over the place on this track. Suddenly appreciate just where uh, where the controls have come now, don't you? Oh god! Yeah, I'm not doing too well at the moment. I'm all over the track. No, it's quite sensitive. Either. Quite sensitive, it isn't is. it? It's very, and it's uh, yeah. It makes you appreciate just where the controls have kind of come now. But I used to be able to speed round this and just totally. Annihilate. I think after a while you kind of just learn exactly where in the track you need to start turning and things like that. I'm starting to get the hand of the uh, corners, I think, now. When I started, I was like <laughs> coming off on every corner. Oh, I, I like, still am. You'll see this back when you're watching it back and you'll be like, oh, yeah. I'm sti- oh, it's on the fun lap and I'm in sixth at the moment. Well, I'm just behind you, so I'm going to have to pull it out the bag, I think. Oh, people are finishing now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, pole position's taken. No, that was not a good showing <laughs> for either of us, I think. think. Absolutely not. Let's see if Perfect. we can pull it back. Seventh. Jeez. Well, it's the first time we've played it in years, so we've got to cut ourselves some slack. We went straight for 100. I was like, ah, I'm used to 150. 100 will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> How wrong was I? Two coffee. For well, both we can't actually... Um, can't select that. Can you... Oh, is you selecting it? 
Oh, is it me? Yeah, I think okay. so. When we're going to do retry or end? Um, we can retry. Let's go. For it. Oh, so we actually have to have to be ranked to to get it. I think. I didn't realize it did that on multiplayer. I thought we would have only done that in single player mode, but no, you've got to win in pole position. Didn't realize how much you sped up with the coins in this as well. Ooh, wasted the red shell there. Ooh, what happened there? All over the place. There it's actually quite hard to look at as well. The graphics, um, like the pop up of it, is a little bit hard to yeah. concentrate on, isn't it? Compared to what we used to now. It's like that early, that early days of 3D graphics, but they were still very much 2D. Oh man, I've wasted all of my power ups so far. Yeah, I've got a uh, mushroom here. I'm trying to look for a long straight to use it. It's just, it's just I, there's got to be. Oh god, there's got to be a section. The dirt. I just used it to shoot across dirt. Oh man, Bowser keeps trying to drop a fireball on me. Yeah, I never really played this one too much. It was only the I kind of the first Mario Kart I actually owned was 64 because I didn't have a SNES. Um, oh, Mario Kart 64 is the it is the dawn, I think. It is it's great. Mario Kart 8 is the the best Mario Kart though, just purely for what it's achieved. Oh no, it's happened again. <laughs> I, I was I mean... me trying to cheat. It was me trying to cheat a little bit. Oh. I'm not sure if that counts as me ranking or not. I don't know. Well, mine's got sad music, so I think <laughs> they came out. Yeah, I got ranked out. Do we both have to do it again then to uh, get through? I know, it's let's carry on. Look at that. Well, not a huge amount of seconds in it, is it really? 123, 26. Spinning out in the background. Yeah, oh dear. Zero. Plus one. Plus one. I think we'd need to have a bit of practice on that and then have a have another go at it at some point. I totally agree. You need to get used to it, don't you? I think it's more fun if you haven't played it for a <laughs> Yeah, and it's definitely an element of uh, difficulty if you've not played it in years. Yeah, but I, I don't remember it being this hard. Like, like I said, I've been playing like Mario Kart 8, but this is really sensitive to turn. It really is. You don't have to... Um, yeah, you don't have to give it too much... I know. And I get stuck there. Oh man, I've gone. Oh uh, yeah, I'm feeling to like I'm having to like keep stopping accelerating and braking and stuff because the difference between 150 and 100 cc in this must be quite significant. Absolutely tanking on this one. I so say anyone that says that this is this is the best Mario Kart has got nostalgia goggles for sure. <laughs> There's no way this is better than 64 oh, no. or Wii or 8. I'm like totally, totally. Oh no! I was literally about to try and take a corner sharply and bumped into a wall. Now I'm back in fifth. Oh, I'm back I, in eighth. Dude. Oh, I, I thought I had an opportunity then, but completely. I think at some it. point I'm going to get lapped. Interesting, actually. I only just noticed that the power ups of the floor stay gone. By the looks of it, they oh, do. There's a, there's a shortcut there yeah. I just spotted. I didn't take it in time. I'm not sure which Mario Kart it was where they suddenly in started introducing them and bringing them back fully. All right. Oh, 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 come on! Oh. oh, dude, you're in second. I am right. just tanking hard. Thought it'd be cheeky there. Oh, no. But I don't think it's going to pay off. In the end, no. Oh no! <laughs> Come on! Just Second. My final lap. Come on! No, we're gonna get third. Ah, oh, <sighs> Luigi it took me right at the end. Swerving around too much on the grass. Oh, oh dude, I am trailing bad. That is really hard for what I remember. I did. I did not expect it to go this way. I thought it would be me and you and first fighting for first and second. Was not. Uh, just put down the back. Third and eighth. Yeah. Look at that! I lost really badly in that oh, I don't know not what I was expecting at all punishing, right. isn't it? it is that is punishingly hard but uh, 
yeah, it makes me think, why don't you want to go back and play that a bit more? Exactly, um, just to prove a point. That yeah, can just to get a bit better. <laughs> or maybe I'll, I'll go and play some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and make myself feel better. But to be honest, even that one I'm finding quite hard, Mario Kart 8, compared to the Wii one that I played a lot. I think it's just because I played the Wii one a lot, and I knew the courses really well. Uh, and I did all the time trials and stuff, and I knew a few shortcuts, and I kind of got, I found a car combo that worked really well for me. Um, yep. And this one, I'm just not quite as good as I was on the Wii version. Um, but I think I just need to keep practicing a bit. But I've, I personally <laughs> found Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to be a lot harder than the Mario Kart Wii. That's yeah, it's it's got a lot to master. I think mm. it's it's got a lot of a lot of skill to it. Um, you can play it as casually as you want, or you can get really sort of into it. And it's uh, yeah, it's great. Mario Kart 8 is is the dawn. Cool. Right, let's wrap this up and move on to the final stage of the show. Bonus stage. Right, well, there you have it. That's our three games uh, for this evening. Thanks very much for being on, Ollie, and thanks for being the, the first guest. Uh, no problem, him. man. Um, no, had... Thank you so much for inviting. It's all good. We've had a few technical difficulties, but um, hopefully it will come together well at the end. Um, Absolutely. Get to restart uh, Streets of Rage at one point because I <laughs> lost my screen. But, hey, um, all going well. Hopefully we'll, I'll figure out a few teething issues as we go uh, and other shows will be a bit smoother. For sure, for sure. Ooh. Like being a guinea pig. Yeah, there we go. Um, yes, and if you're watching and you'd like to be a guest on the Boom Mood of Triangle Face, um, do drop me a message uh, or message our GR team uh, and I'll be happy to try and arrange something and see what we can have. I hope to have other people on the show and uh, play some more games because I like playing games with people. Uh, it'd be good to hear everyone's uh, sort of gaming memories and what games you want to play and, and see hopefully some hidden gems and things like that as well because everyone always picks exactly. different things. Um, exactly. Yeah. I can already think of some of the people that we've interviewed if they end up coming on, picking some of those gems out there. It's, yeah, there's going to be some strange games, man. I know I've gone for games that are pretty pretty standard, pretty big hitters for people that, that like like the systems that these are on. But I think some Again, I think gonna uh, some it's going to need ones. to be limited to what can play on this platform. So uh, this is on the Pi Packer platform. Um, if anyone's seen that and use it, it's worth checking out. It's quite a fun platform to use where you can play your old, game, old games. But it's got SNES... Uh, Mega Drive, PlayStation 1, a few other systems. So um, we're kind of sticking to those. Um, I know one game you did want to play was uh, The Simpsons Arcade. Um, I did. It wasn't available on the systems we've got, but uh, we'll have to play that at some point. I do actually have that on an arcade cabinet. Um, not like the stand-up ones, but I've got a um, one that you just plug into the TV, and it's got a bunch yep. of games on there, and uh, that includes... I think it's got a couple of versions of Simpsons Arcade on there, or they might just be repeats. It's quite fun. Well, we'll, Definitely, we'll have to do something. It's really my... hard at the end when you're fighting Mr. Burns. You just die loads. Like, think if in the arcade, how much money would you put in just to beat that one boss? It wouldn't be worth it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'd have had to have saved up a lot of pocket money and just like pummeled it into it for sure. But it's yeah, that's my favourite arcade game, man. So it's 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 got to happen at some point. I know we've I've talked about it loads on various streams, but yeah, that was such a good game, yeah. such a good game. I'm so, I'm always surprised that no one has ever released it sort of further i know it was on um the xbox live Arcade yeah it was about to say it was on 360 i think you could play it uh but they took it down so that's now not there anymore so yeah it's annoying it's annoying i'd love a licensed way to play that game yes definitely no, it's a good one and again it's another one with those beam up games it's, it's got to have an edge isn't it and i think the simpsons one does actually have quite a good edge um it plays does very well it's old school it's simpsons as well isn't it old school simpsons it like is. some of the characters in it think, yeah they're they're early days simpsons characters yeah, to face against. But yeah, very good fun. Yeah. So, um, what have you got on lined up then? What have you got coming up? Um, different events and gaming wise, what sort of things are you going to be doing in the coming weeks? Yeah, so um, we've got OLL coming up in a couple of weeks' time. That's really not that far off now at all. Um, myself and Dorps are going to be going up to that for the weekend. We're going to be going up on the Friday. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. There's some amazing guests there already. Um, can't wait to meet up with some old friends can't wait to meet up with some new friends as well there's some some people going that we've been talking to over the year that we've not managed to meet up with before so that's going to be really exciting um starting well by the time this goes out it will it won't be tomorrow but starting mm. tomorrow we have uh, total evercade that ryan has been putting together for a little while now starting soon as well um and i'm trying to put something together with a few different content creators uh, which would be a sort of monthly stream if i can get it to work uh, called the consultation zone um, and that will be a group of people 
uh, discussing either a console, a particular game, or um, the Bit Wars, or something like that, and each episode will be a new discussion. Um, so there's lots coming out, lots, lots. Yeah, in the there's loads, loads. Of, no, I would love to join your LL, but it does clash uh, with the stag do, so I'm going to be away. I'm not going to be in the country, so I'm not available for it this year, uh, which is a real shame. But um, we'll, we'll end up at an LL together someday because you missed last year's, didn't you? Because uh, you had did. Co- I... Do I right think you had COVID that weekend. I did. Yeah, I did have so, COVID. It was yeah. um, that was literally one of the worst weeks of my life, and uh, mm. so I'm going to make up for it this year. Yes, indeed. And yeah, I would absolutely be attending, but uh, I have other. Um, other things in the diary so i'll be away that weekend but yeah hopefully i'll catch you at another event in future um, definitely i'm sure man. keep attending these things but yeah i hope you have a good time with dorbs and uh yeah you get to take part in the event and i'm sure it'll be a fun weekend oh that's gonna be great can't wait yeah. excellent well thanks very much for coming on and thanks to everyone who's been watching uh, and hopefully we'll see you again for another bermuda triangle face at some point in the future don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon Game over.